Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again today. I'm back here at the bushland where I found the wild tawny frogmouth and its nest with the chicks in the nest. The mother has left the nest and I've wondered where the mother has been going during the day or when the chicks have been on their own. So I've had a bit of a look through the tree with my binoculars and I've found the mother. She's sitting slightly higher than the nest with the chicks in it. So I'm going to take some photos and let's have a look and see what's going on in this nest of the tawny frogmouths. As I said before, the tawny frogmouth is one of the best camouflaged birds in the world. Its mottled feathers just blend into the bark on trees. And you can see here I'm taking some video. Got the Nikon Z6 with the Tamron 150 to 600 mil G2 lens on it. And I'm taking some video now of the mother and you'll see that the mother is up against like the main section of the tree and the camouflage just blends in marvelously with the bark on the tree the bird you can hear in the background is a pacific coal i've done a video on that so if you have a look you'll see um the bird that's actually creating all that sound in the background is a pacific coal but today we're concentrating on the tawny frogmouth there are a few lorikeets and that that's quite curious as to what i'm doing at the moment so you'll hear a few different bird noises in the background as i'm here in the bush and they're quite active at the moment but you can see here with the tawny frogmouth it's found a really nice spot it's sitting not too far over the top of its nest it's probably about three meters so it's about 10 feet 15 feet away from the main nest but it's really well camouflaged and you can see that on the video here as well so I'm just going to um, do a bit of a shot here and show you where the mother tawny frogmouth is located in regards to the nest now I can't because of the way the tree is show both views unobstructed but I'll show you where the nest is and where the mother's located in relation to that so it's not far away but she certainly isn't visible unless you really try hard to find her this leafy and bushy area is where the nest is of the tawny frogmouth now if we go up we can see where the mother is in relation to this nest. So you can see she's probably eh, around about three to five meters away. Not too far away, but close enough to help if need be. I've moved the camera set up about 10 meters to the side of where I was. This will allow me to get some photos of the chicks in their nest. Again, now that I've changed angle, the mother can't be seen by the camera or it can't be seen by the eye from here because she is around the back of the tree trunk. So I'll get a bit of footage and some photos of the chicks and let's see how we go.
Okay, it's starting to get close to lunchtime, so I think I'll pack this up, go and grab some lunch. Thanks very much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, it'd be great if you could give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Even better, hit the subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my latest videos that are always covering landscape photography, wildlife photography, stuff like that in the outdoors. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.